All right, so this is just a really quick uh, review of the um, Tech Power uh, switching po power supply. Um, basically, really, really simple unit. Um, pretty, pretty compact, um, as you can see here. Not very about the size of a multimeter. And the nice thing about it is it has a pretty good range of voltage. Um, basically, this one can do um, anywhere from like 0.3 up to 12 volts at 3.75 amps or you can jump up to 30 volts but only at 1.6 amps so pretty decent range for just most like you know tinkering or, or hobby type solutions um, it does come with a uh, some basic um, some basic leads uh, user manual and the power the power cord um, that's all it really comes with now I'll go ahead and show the unit itself and overall again pretty decent construction um, it's it feels pretty sturdy. Uh, it does get kind of warm back here. There's a, there's a warning sticker that shows that it gets a little bit warm back there when it's on operation, but not too much where you can't handle it. And you have your your power leads here, and then also some dedicated um, USB 5 volt at 2.5 amp um, outputs as well. Uh, the screen is backlit, so when powered on, you can see it in the dark if needs be. And really, the only thing about the unit that I that I didn't like is that it didn't come with any sort of power switch. Um, now it looks like this looks like a power switch here, but this is actually the um, like enables the volt the output. So this is not the power switch. Uh, to power this thing on and off, you have to basically unplug and plug the actual cable uh, from the unit. And so I did not like that. So what I did is I went ahead and wired in. I took it apart and wired in a small rocker switch uh, for power, and that solved my one gripe with this unit. So let's go ahead and power it on and see um, a little bit more about what it can do. Well, before we get to that, I wanted to show just quickly how I did this power switch modification. Uh, here's a picture of the unit basically just opened up. It's just three screws to pop it open, very, very simple. And then here is a close-up of where the power comes into the unit via this uh, two-pin plug here at the top. Now, in order to do this mod, you're going to, going to need to, uh, to unsolder the right post here that's in the circuit board. Um, just unsolder that and pull the lead up. And then we can get to the next part, which is hollowing out um, a hole for the new switch to go. And at the top of this picture, you can kind of see the, the switch that I used just to kind of get an idea of the size. Uh, pretty small, but it, it can handle up to 6 amps, so sufficient for this particular use. And to create the, uh, the opening for the switch, I basically used, used first a, just a drill to put a simple hole inside there, and then used um, just some small files to basically... Uh, shape it to the right size and make it nice and smooth. And then here we see um, basically you then take the switch, pop it into the hole you just created, and then solder uh, two leads to basically connect the power from the, the two pin power, power plugs through the switch back to the circuit board. So not too difficult to do. It, it is pretty tight in there, so as long as you have some pretty good dexterity, you should be just fine. And here the final step, everything's put back together. You can see a close up, a close -up of the switch. Um, it works great. And now we'll roll back in through to the review. All right, so basic operation, um, you power it in again. As it comes in the box, you have to plug it in to power it in. I have this little rocker switch set up where you turn it on there and the unit powers up. Um, you have your directional arrows, uh, enter and set buttons, uh, USB output, uh, uh, power output, and then toggle between voltage and amps. So basically, um, Pretty straightforward. Basically, if I want to set my voltage to a certain point, I would hit set. So I can go over here to, let's say, I want to do 5. Point, you know, 25 volts. And if I'm, if that's the level I want to set at, I hit set. And now I'd hit output, boop, and it would actually output that voltage if I had my leads plugged in right here. Um, the other cool thing this thing sports again is the fact that you can have these dedicated uh, USB outputs. Now, when you when you hit this button here it does restrict the voltage and the amperage to uh, 2.5 amps and 5.1 volt, which is the standard for uh, USB spec here. So um, that you know makes it so that the voltage is limited to that. Now, even though this is on, you can still output voltage from both the leads and the USB ports here, but again, you're just set to this, this level um, as is. So let's go ahead and plug a few things in and kind of uh, run through the operation here. So in addition to the uh, voltage and um, you know, modifications you can do. You can also toggle on and off the, the backlight if you choose not to have it. So down turns it off, 
up, turns it on, and you also have some contrast settings. So, I mean, I pretty much just run it at full contrast, so it's easier to see, but those are, um, the, you know, the navigation for that as well. Now, I'm going to do a quick little test. I'm just going to plug these leads in to some uh, modified jumper cables here on this breadboard. And basically, I have it plugged into some LEDs to kind of show the, the, st the step up process. So again, right now it's set to one volt and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power. Boop. So I have the output. Again, not enough voltage to do anything yet. So I'm going to go ahead and hit set. Go over here to the voltage and start ticking this up. So two volts, three volts, four volts, five volts. You can see I'm starting to get some, some power here. So six volts. So pretty simple process again so you can step it up and down while you're actually outputting um, I'm going ahead and go ahead and turn that off now and do the same thing with some a bigger uh, a bigger spool of, of LEDs so this is just a big um, kind of like a super bright super bright LED spool and we'll do the same thing we'll we'll start at a lower voltage here we'll start at like a two volts Three volts, we got nothing. Four volts, five volts, start to see something. Six volts, things start turning on. Then and this is a 12 volt uh, LED strip, so I'm gonna go all the way up to see the, the brightness gradually increase. Whoa. So eight volts, nine volts, 10 volts, 11 volts, 12 volts. So as you can see here, it, Works just fine toggling that, you know, while you're in operation, um, outputting at 2.5 amps, and you can toggle between. Um, you can, you know, hit this while you're in set. You can hit the voltage amperage button, and you can modify the amount of amps you want. So if you, if you only want it at 0.5 amps, you can do that as well. And the last thing I'll show here is just the operation of the USB. have here just a, uh, a Raspberry Pi 3 um, with a pre-configured SD card that I'll go ahead and plug in here now. Um, again, there's no voltage that outputs, uh, so I'm going to go just to show this. So if I, even if I have at 5 volts here, if I hit power, nothing, nothing occurs here, no indicator lights, nothing. It's because you have to hit this USB button to initiate um, the preset USB voltage and amperage and then I hit the power out and you can see now I have my indicator lights popping on and the fans running so that's powered on and again you still do get power out of these but it's going to be locked into this this voltage and amperage here and it does show the current amperage uh, load Again, I can switch to voltage but that's how um, that particular aspect of the the unit works so again, overall for, for my needs for just tinkering and you know really basic electronic stuff, it's a great power supply. I was excited not to have to have one of those huge you know bench bench power supplies that comes out you know over a foot sticking out. This is just wall mountable using a Velcro straps, and so really pleased with that and kind of how it turned out. Uh, again, the only gripe I had was uh, no no dedicated power switch, but with just some simple some simple modifications that was taken care of. So overall, really recommend this unit for someone who needs a dedicated DC power supply that doesn't take up a lot of space.